Scary comes in all forms, from costumes to props to movies. And one such movie is Phantom of the Opera, which can get you a little experience that you may never thought imaginable, because what this next guest is doing is actually adding a little 3D dimension to Phantom of the Opera. Please welcome Tim Piper, Concert Series Director of the Calgary Society of Organists. Happy Halloween. Thanks, it's great to be here. Our uh, set is a little uh, decked out. It's, I love uh, it. it's kind of spooky, kind of sticky. That's great. <laughs> what did you say to me earlier? You're I was almost tangled <laughs> in the web. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to be decorating up Knox United Church? Oh, yes. There'll be uh, lots of ghouls and goblins haunting the church tonight. Very nice. Yeah, it'll be very spooky indeed. Good. Yeah. This is an interesting concept. This is a 1923-25 classic, That's Phantom right. of the Opera. So this is a black and white. That's right. Not that colorized version. No, none of that newfangled stuff. Wonderful. Yeah. So the plan is yeah. to film, have the film projected. That's right. So that the audience can enjoy. Yes. But you, Tim, or your group, has taken it one step further. What are you doing? Well, in the 1920s, at the height of the silent film era, there was always live accompaniment of some kind, either on the piano or very often on the pipe organ, sometimes with an orchestra, but organ was actually the primary instrument for accompanying the classic silent mm. films in the 1920s. There were often pipe organs in the theater houses of the time. So we are, in a way, recreating that experience tonight. Wow. We have hired a fantastic young British organist who will be providing a live pipe organ accompaniment while we watch the screening of the 1925 Phantom of the Opera. The gentleman you're speaking of, his name is David... Baskefield. David Baskefield. Now that's not David there. <laughs> that's Boris Karloff, I'm guessing. Uh, that is Lon Chaney. Lon Chaney, I who suppose. Is the, uh, Lon Chaney, who yes. is the star of the film, one of the great stars of the silent film era. Yes. And uh, but David will be accompanying Lon Chaney on the. There's David. That's David. Yeah, exactly. He's in color. Yes. <laughs> in living color. He is alive and in color. What do we know about David? Well, David is a, uh, a brilliant young concert artist, and he actually just won a major international organ competition in Montreal, Fantastic. of all places. So there's a strong Canadian connection for him. And so we're the first uh, venue to host him since his big win a couple of weeks ago in Montreal. For heaven's sakes. So uh, it's, it's going to be very exciting indeed to, to have him uh, in this role. Now, so again, so when someone does show up, let's keep this in mind, it's a silent film. It is a silent film. So there are moments in there when the organ is being played. Yes. Or is it just a running dialogue of organ playing? It, David will be playing virtually throughout the entire movie, which is about 90 minutes long. Okay. And he will be playing some repertoire, some spooky sounds, the famous Toccata and Fugue in D minor by Bach. Uh, but he will also be improvising, making some music up spontaneously as he reacts no way. as he reacts to what's going on on screen. And, and that's the beauty of having such a talent as David. Exactly. He not he has to know where his fingers are going. Yeah. But he can still direct his attention somewhere else and still react to it. The guy knows what he's doing. He sure does. Yeah. And he's uh, he's accompanied this particular film. Uh, several times, so uh, we're in very experienced hands. Now, you're, you're doing rehearsals right now? That's right. He, he is Tell me there. how that looks. Uh, it's really, really cool. We have this massive screen set up at the front of the church, but also the organ console is very close to the front of the church, too. So while you're there seeing the movie, you'll be able to see and hear David and see the film Come all at on. once. Wow. Is there plans to maybe do more of this? It's a great idea, we especially on Halloween, man. We sure hope oh. so. Uh, you know, th in, in the States, they're doing this more and more, recreating these silent films, and I, I think it's, it's time we start doing more of this uh, in Calgary and in Canada, and uh, so uh, we're really thrilled about you this. You present tonight. opportunities like this, and I'm sure a lot of people will jump on board. This yeah. is a great, great yeah. idea. There's a lot of buzz around this, so we're really happy. Knox United Church. That's tonight. correct. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. So you can do a little trick-or-treating with the kids. Absolutely. Can I bring kids to this? Uh, we would recommend this for kids 13 and over. It's actually, it's pretty scary. It's, it's uh, renowned as, in some ways, the first horror film. 
So Ooh. not not as scary as you know Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> yes. But still pretty scary. So probably kids 13 and up and adults who want to, to do a little something after something the different. kids have trick or treated and, and dress up and dress up. Absolutely. Come out uh, to Phantom of the Opera and then go out with your friends. Should be should be a lot of fun. What a fantastic idea. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tim. You're very welcome. It is Tim Piper, concert series director of the Calgary Society of Organists. It's Phantom of the Opera tonight at nine at Knox United Church. There's a lot of things continuing to happen in our city as well, too. How about the fifth annual Calgary Organ Festival and Symposium? Now, it runs right through until Sunday. It is under the leadership of principal host Mount Royal University Conservatory. And if you'd like more information, there's the details at www.mtroyal.ca. This is Trending on Show.